All right, guys, we are making stuff happen on this cold winter evening and night. Uh, I spent all, after from whenever you guys saw me, which was, I don't know, like, I feel like it was 1.30 or so till dark, which is only like 5.30. We have been scrubbing these wheels like crazy. Uh, the back sides were dirty. And I'm picky, so the black spots you see are paint from a previous owner, not the guy I bought them from, but the guy probably before that. Um, you can kind of see that it's still on a few places, which is no big deal. Uh, we used, I don't know, there's, I would really appreciate any sort of ideas for a uh, paint stripper for stuff like this. I've used aircraft stripper, it works, but it misses the last bit and that's what is the most important. So all of it's off, we're gonna use a Dremel to get in the windows to polish up the rest of them and get all that stuff off so, we, so it's like perfectly clean. But yeah, we did all the backsides of these wheels. If I have a, I think I have a before and after, which I will throw up right now. All right, so you guys kind of get the idea of what's going on there. And if, if I told you that I didn't have anything to do and was bored, I'd be wrong. I have 2,500 things to do that should take like three weeks and I have probably a week to do them, uh, which is just my life. Here's a set of specialty forged that need the goods. The backsides were awful. And we've got them looking good. So uh, I do have before and after that, I think, and a video of me washing them. I'll throw that up right here. Uh, I think I hear one of those leaking. They're brand new. The tires are like brand new. Oh. Valve stem. Yeah, I don't know. I think these need tightened up. I'm gonna go get my valve stem tool. Tighten all these things up because I want them to be good to go for Mark. Mark's a really good buddy of ours. Uh, he has really cool stuff that goes really fast. Uh, he just doesn't put it out there for people to see. So whenever Mark's, Mark asks for us to do something, I always jump on it because Mark's a good guy. He'd always do anything for you. What the heck is that noise? Probably semi. But yeah we gotta polish these these are not our first priority i am gonna hit both of these sets but this is gonna be a lot of work so these aren't that bad so we're gonna get these done and daisy what are you doing oh well there's a coyote right outside so we're gonna shoot it we'll be back quick update for you guys um, we did a test cut on the lip of the sh one of the Cheyennes. Needless to say, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I love it. But, uh, I had a whole bunch of stuff come up. Uh, it's like everything was fighting me. Had to go, well, didn't have to. Wanted to go to my aunt's, see my, a few of my buddies that just had a kid, and, um, just see everybody eat dinner. After that, came back, I was going to start polishing wheels, the wheel, the freaking buff rake's gone. And it's usually in my little carton here. This is the buff rake. Uh, it was still at Sam, so I had to run back over there, which is on the other side of town. Come back, finally got to it. We got one fully finished. Looks just beautiful. I'm very happy with, with the way it turned out. Uh, a lot of you guys have probably paid attention to this. I don't do a lot of big wheels. I, a full cut and polish, I just don't do on big wheels, especially specialties, because uh, specialties and fuels are 
If you're a big fan of them, sorry, they're junk. Especially the old ones, that's why they call them fuel, fuel foggies. You'll see that on Instagram a lot. They call them that for a reason, and it's because they don't do the, I don't know, it's the last process that I think American Force does, and the others don't. It's some, I don't know if it's a tumbling process. I, I'd have to look it back up. I, I knew at one point in time. They don't do that last step, and it makes polishing these things to a mirror almost impossible. Like I, full, I did that one to the best of my absolute abilities without bringing, bringing out sandpaper. I could take an American Force, or especially a weld, in the exact same condition or worse, make it look 10 times better than that wheel. That's just how they are. This one is actually an old specialty, and they actually did better, I believe. I think it's the old ones are better, the new ones are harder or something. And I'm just, I'm pretty happy with them. I'm kind of proud of myself. First set specialties I've ever done, full cut and polish. So you can kind of see the befores. They're all streaky looking and yeah, they're just real bad. Well, not real, real bad. They're pretty bad, so we got them fixed up. Really happy with the way they turned out. With that being said, we're going to turn in for the night. Uh, it's getting pretty late. I'm going to get up in the morning, get an early start, get some things done, get these knocked out. These got to go tomorrow. And then the sooner I can get these knocked out, the sooner I can start on the welds, and that is a huge priority for me. And then I've got a, a little uh, detail thing i got to do at noon. And the end of the day, i got to see the girlfriend. Uh, so we, we've got a lot of stuff to do. And then we got to go head south. So, yeah, I'm going to go to bed. I will pick it back up tomorrow. We're going to just keep this all in the same video. I'm going to cut this down somewhat short. I'm not doing any time lapse uh, until we get to the welds or something. But, uh, I'm just going to throw up a bunch of before and afters of stuff right here. This kind of shows what you, you guys, what acid washing and things like that can do. Uh, a good clean backside. That's always good. <laughs> if it's a wheel or anything else but yeah there's the back sides of the wheels they're not polished but they're clean that's what matters so we're gonna move on along and i'll see you guys in the morning all right guys so it's the next morning you can tell i'm definitely a morning person couldn't get myself up till 10. uh got my pol polishing outfit back on and so if it's 10 right now i think let me look at my phone. 10.34, not 10. Um, my goal is to get all these wheels cut, the rest of the three, because that one is done. I am happy. The rest of these three, I want to get them all cut before I have to leave to go to Sam's to go fix those headlights. If I could get that done, I would be moving along pretty well. I'd be very happy. So we're going to go ahead and just hop into it. I've got to get these things cut and ready for color. So that being said, I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm not going to do a bunch of time lapse. I've done a lot of polishing stuff, and there's a lot of guys that polish on YouTube that are way better than me. They do it for a living. They really know what they're talking about. Me, I just do it for my buddies and kind of for fun. For I don't know. I'll accept just about anything, but... I'm not that guy who does it for a living. I'm not up to that quality. I need a one of Pointer's polishing tables so I can spin spin the wheel as I'm polishing, or like be able to control a slow spin so I don't have to pick it up and move it. And yeah, it's just it turns out better. You don't have to worry about lining stuff up and things like that. But I took these out, did the sun test. It looked really good in the sun. I'm very happy, and Mark is gonna be ecstatic. So we're going to jump into it. I will, I'm not going to drag you guys along to the detail thing because they're probably going to be there. A lot of people don't like being on camera. So we're not going to do that. And then we'll come back and finish these. And then I've got to get like a haircut. I've got to do all, I've got so much stuff to do. It's ridiculous. So we're going to go. See you guys later. Here's. I don't know if you guys can see these wheels very well. I don't know if you think that if the camera is making them look the same, but this one is fully done. This one's just cut. And you can really tell. You can kind of see some of those lines and just the haziness compared to the, the clarity of these. So we've got 
one fully done, two fully cut, and another one almost fully cut. We got the face and the lip all cut. We just got to do the lip of the or the the dish of the wheel, and then we'll be done, and we can move on to the coloring stage. But I also have to hurry for that detail too, or the headlight thing. So we're gonna keep rolling, wait on text back from them, and I'm gonna need lunch too. That's for sure. So. We'll be back. Just want to give you guys a little update. And we made pretty good time, guys. It is 326. Not too bad for a full cut and polish on these things. What? Yeah, I know. But I, I'm pretty happy. Uh, Mark is loving them. These are going to be going on his fortune. Mark is a real good guy. He's actually been to Firepunk. I think they've They've put a transmission in that truck. I think they put a whole new engine, like built engine. They've done everything. Like he, he likes to go fast. He has some cool stuff. I remember one. He had a nasty second gen at one point in time. But yeah, these are going on his fourth gen, which is really, really awesome. The truck's sweet. It's really fast. And yeah, so we're finally done. Um, I'm not going to get to the Cheyennes tonight. I've got a bunch of stuff I need to do. And we're running short on time, so we'll get to the Cheyenne's another video, but I mean you guys I showed you you guys a video. This is just like fifteen seconds of like of cut, not even really trying. So this slip was sanded, but it's gonna it's gonna come out good. These things are gonna look awesome on the third gen. Where's the fourth one? Oh, it's got a box sitting on it. Shows how much I care before they're polished. But yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get on and I think that might close out this video. I might throw some stuff in here. I really don't have much for you guys. I, I apologize. I've just been polishing, and you guys, it's not very interesting. So.